Hey guys, today I've got two filters from EcoGuard to look at. Their Synthetic Plus filter for use with synthetic oil and their X-Series Premium filter for use with conventional. Now both of these fit the same vehicle and cross over to all the other automotive filters I've looked at so far on this channel. Now the synthetic is more expensive at $10.93 versus $8.59 for the conventional. Both are manufactured in China and come packaged in a cardboard box plus a shrink wrapped cover on each of them to keep debris out from the bottom, which not all manufacturers do, so I always appreciate seeing that. The synthetic filter is advertised to last up to 10,000 miles between oil changes. Well, the conventional filter or the premium filter doesn't explicitly state a mileage limit as such. If you look on the back of their box though, it basically says what the deal is for pretty much all aftermarket filters, and that is that as long as you use a filter that is appropriate for your vehicle, you install it correctly, and you change it per the vehicle manufacturer's recommended change uh, intervals, that the manufacturer's, well, the vehicle maker's warranty will be maintained. Now, as far as weight goes, they're pretty close to each other at 323 grams for the synthetic and 339 for the premium. Now, that's pretty heavy actually, for this application. The heaviest I've ever seen is about 350 on a, I think, Bosch Distance Plus and a Purolator Boss, I think, shared a very, very similar design. So these are pretty close to the top end in terms of weight, which I just used as a kind of a correlate to overall robustness, not necessarily performance. I know a lot of people like to point that out, but anyway, compare that to the lightest I've seen at 220, this is definitely on the higher end. Now, from the underside, you can see that both of these filters have very similar looking tapping plates, although if you get into some of the details, they are not necessarily. Why not? I don't know, because you'd think from a manufacturing standpoint, you'd want to standardize, but I'm not in charge of that. The center tubes are an M20 by 1.5 thread, and that's why you have the little 20 marking there on the base plate. And there's about four and a half to five threads of engagement a piece. Now, if you look at the inlet holes around the outside of that, you've got five a piece. And the combined inlet area of these five holes for the synthetic filter is about 0.24 square inches. And that bumps up to about 0.28 on the premium filter. Now, just for some context on that, though, you get about double that with the K&N Performance Gold filter. Now, K&N's got a a uh, real thing about being high flow, and you can see that in this number and how gigantic these holes are. But compare that to kind of what I've chosen as a benchmark filter, uh, the Mobile One. It has about 0.27 square inches on that inlet, and that's pretty standard, I'd say. So these are these are in line with that. Looking at the gaskets and the anti-drain back valves, the gasket material is nitrile rubber for the synthetic filter, and the valve material is silicone, which is preferable to nitrile because it performs better in extreme temperature environments. Now, unfortunately, EcoGuard's website doesn't really address what the materials are for the gasket and valve, but I'm going to venture and make a guess that since we're stepping down a tier in price, and because the valve is no longer the reddish color, that these are both going to be made from nitrile rubber. Inside are cartridges that are extremely similar in terms of build, even down to the total filter area, which measures about 96.6 square inches for the S-series filter, and a little less at 92.2 for the conventional. Now, it wouldn't surprise me at all if these were engineered to be the same, but the 4 square inches is probably just a function of manufacturing variance and my measurement accuracy. Anyway, just for some context on that, this is a sample of the filter media from a Mobile One filter for the same application, and you get 84 and a half square inches of total filter area, which is a little bit less than the EcoGuards. But on a Fram ExtraGuard filter, uh, the 2019 version, you get 102 square inches, which is a little bit bigger. So the EcoGuards are about the middle of the road when it comes to uh, some of their more common competitors. Now, the major differentiator between these two EcoGuards is the filtration efficiency of the media itself. Both of these are synthetic blends, 
But the S filter S series filter has an efficiency of 99.9% efficiency at 25 microns. Now for the X series, the efficiency isn't published, so I had to reach out to them, and when they replied to me, they told me that it is uh, a fair amount less at 89.3% at 25 microns, but 97.3 at 30. Now for some context on that, the Mobile One filter has an efficiency of 99 plus percent efficiency, but that's measured at 30 microns, so it doesn't surprise me that it's that high. 30 is the largest I've ever seen when it comes to the ISO 454812 test. So the smaller the particle size, the harder it is to achieve like a high efficiency. Well, rather not that it's hard, but um, you're more likely to get a higher efficiency number when you test with larger particles, naturally. Now the Fram Extra Guard, though, it has an efficiency of 95%, but at a smaller 20 micron size. So it's not exactly apples to apples, but just it's how the different manufacturers have published their information. So take it for what it's worth. The end caps are made of metal, which is great because it's much more robust that way. And you've got uh, the, the filter media on the inside with nice even spacing, and it's glued to the end cap, as is the center tube. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, let me just make you aware of what you get when you buy a Fram Extra Guard filter, okay? The center tube is not glued to the end cap, nor is this spring assembly on the end. So what you're left with in terms of an end cap is basically a fibrous piece of paper that's pretty flexible. So this is probably a function of Fram's desire to make these things at low cost, but it definitely shows. So I like to see metal end caps just because of the robustness factor. Whether that's really all that valuable, it's hard to say. It's kind of up to you. Now the three-piece pressure relief valve, you can see right here, it's pretty simple. It's just a stamped piece of sheet metal that retains the coil spring, and this looks like it's a hard plastic seal on the inside. I've seen some that are rubber that I kind of like better just because that'll conform the best and block any leakage, but it's a valve. It's meant to open. So a hermetic seal is not really all that important. So the last thing I'll say about this is that I like the simplicity of it, the robustness of it. It feels like you could just hit it with a hammer and it'd be fine. The only, the only failure mode I could possibly envision is if these tack welds had any issue, but at least this particular filter, I tried to crank on this thing and I can feel the end cap flexing so I'm not really worried about about that happening now the center tube is big okay it's a pretty large diameter if you compare that to the center tube from a mobile one filter the mobile one fits right inside and again on the fram that's even smaller and fits in there not that diameter means a lot but what it also has is plenty of of large holes so as to not restrict your oil flow and you've got a helical style seam right here for strength which is great and then in between every wind of the seam you've got three additional ribs that are kind of rolled in there for even more strength that's great the other kind you may see is again from the fram this is a single axial seam, and if I kind of push on this, you can see it's deflecting. I don't get this kind of behavior. Well, if I squeeze on the extra guard, it's much more rigid. So that's all there is about center tubes. And lastly, the cases. Both of the cases on the EcoGuard filters measure 20 thousandths thick. I generally see two different thicknesses. In fact, I've only seen two different thicknesses on filter cases, and that's been 20 thousandths thick and 15 if you go with some of the cheaper models. So that is my overview for the EcoGuard filters. If you would like to see other brands and models, let me know below. But thanks for watching. Have a great day.